OK, what we're going to do today is we're going to make these buttons do something. So we're going to, every time we click on these buttons, it's going to reduce the health of the other player. So if player two punch or kick button gets pressed, it's going to reduce the health of player one's button, uh, player one's health. So, um, but first, before we do that, I just want to clear some things up, which I should have done at the end of my last video, is on this linear layout, at the top here we've got this um, lint come up, which is saying that we should really set the Android base baseline aligned to false on this element. What this does, it's all to do with um, how it, when we use weight, how it lines up its children. So in this case, its children would be these two linear layouts. So it's all to do with alignments. Um, so it's not something you've got to worry about too much at the moment. It's just saying that you, it's saying that we should really, it's, it's improved, like I say, like it says there, improves the performance. So um, we'll just quickly add that at its uh, base baseline aligned we set it to false because it automatically by default is set to true so by doing that it just increases performance of your app <coughs> we've also got down here is this um, um, where are we image view this image view um, lint saying that we're missing a content description attribute on our images now this is for um, people with visual impairments and physical impairments is to help what we can do is we can add a content description um, if we just quickly do this now content description and we'll add a string now what will happen here is the user's device um, can implement a talkback uh, a text-to-speech so if someone's visually impaired and they're having difficulty seeing the images they will actually say um, using text-to-speech um, what the content is so what the image is, so it's, you, you can you can give a description of the content or description of the image. So in this case, we're just going to put image of player one's face, and we'll convert that to string. Um, um, we we'll just put player uh, player one image. We'll just leave it at that for now. Okay, and uh, come back to that one. We'll do the same for this other image. Oop. Pop it anywhere. Content description. We'll put image. Oop. Yeah, image of player two's face. And we'll convert that to string. Um, player. So um, really what I should have done was, uh, I should have really added these text views to as, as a string. So we'll just put player to health, okay, and player one health, okay. And we we'll just go to the strings. We'll just where the health is. We we'll just we we'll just say health. Health. Okay, so that's that taken care of. So what we want to do now is go to where this this punch uh, on click method is is uh, declared, and we'll scroll down this on player one punch. So every time that play one punch button is pressed, what we want to do is say decrease the health by say three. Every time we click punch, it's going to reduce his health by three. So simple really. We just say player player two int. Okay, we'll see up here, player two um, n equals player 2 minus 3 so it will reduce their health by 3 and then we 
now we want to update the UI um, so that says 97 so as soon as we click punch that will go down to 97 so we need to like we did up here where, where we set the text we, just want to, we want to do that again so we've already declared the uh, text view up here so all we need to do is just set the text so player sorry for sorry for player player yeah for player two player player two health that's a text view dot set text and we want a string a string um so we want that as the value of um so we've got all these different values we can use if that are available we can change doubles and uh, chars and everything. this this so it's in value um of player two and that's it it's that simple so what we can do is we want to use a similar similar method for our kick but this time say if we kick we press kick say it reduces the health by five okay so what we can do is we just copy this and we pop that in there and we just change this value to five so it reduces it by five instead now we want to do the same for this button so it reduces the same so it reduces the health of player one's health by the same amount so what we can do is we can copy this but we want to use player one variables so player one equals player one minus three and player one health set text Oop. set text string dot value of player one and that's that and then we just copy that copy it and paste them just change that value to five so if we run that and now if we press punch oh that was a bit flaky there we press punch let's say every time we press punch reduces the health by three and we press kick reduces it by five and the same for this side now that's that's pretty basic so it's pretty limited what we can do here let's say um what we want to do is we want to if if their health gets say below 50 then let's say it displays a different a different image so if we go back and we run the app it resets the resets the numbers so when we press punch and um, when the health reaches below 50 we're going to change the image so we're going to need to set up some new methods every time after we pressed punch or kick we what we want to do is, is, is say check health um, of player 2 check health let's just go on. check health player 2 and it's moaning saying can't resolve because there's no method called check health player 2 so what we can do is create the method and there it is here so whenever we press punch it re reduces their health by three updates the text view and then checks their health and it comes down to here so in here we want to basically check the health so we want an if statement so we want to say if player 2 is less than say 50 so if their health oh, so if their health is less than 50 then you want to execute what's in, in this bracket uh, else uh, execute what's in this bracket so if the health drops below 
50 we want to update basically we want to update this image this image here and we want to update it with is this this image which is player 2 hurt so we double click on that we can see it this one here so if the health drops below 50 you'll now you should see this image so we go to main activity what we need to do is tell it to update that image but we need to create an object an image so image view create an image view object and we need to import that package for that class so just alt enter and there's our image view class that we can use uh, and we call it player to face player to face uh, equals and we're going to use a find by find view by ID remember it returns a view so we need to tell it it's an image view find view by ID r dot ID dot what do we call it what did we call that that um that image player image player one image player two so just this one here we can see that its ID is image player two so that's what we're referencing when we state player two face we're referencing that image so what we need to do now is update that image so player two face we want to use the method set image resource so we set the image resource to the, pit, the image that's in the r dot drawable folder dot player to hurt so we want to update it with that image if the health reaches if the health goes below 50 else it needs to display play to face set image resource to r dot drawable dot player to her um, player to normal so let's say for example his health was re regenerate in any way or some instance let's say you added some other functionality to that button it, 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 it'll update the image to what it should be and we want to do this for each button we press so we want to implement this method check player to every time we press one of the player one buttons so we want after this player player one kick really we should put this let's put this down here uh, that's right so we want to check health player 2 underneath that one as well whenever we press the player 1 kick button now we want to check health, pl health player two, player 1 method so check health player 1 method let's say no let's just do that properly we want to declare that method but we don't want it there we want it let's put it up here okay and we just copy that and put it there as well so essentially we want to do the same to this method as what we did here so we need to declare an image view image view object of player one face equals an image view find view by id r dot id dot image player two oh we forgot our semicolon there as well okay so now an if statement if player one is less than 50 
and implement this left method, else implement this method, this function. Um, so we want player one face set image resource to r dot drawable dot player one hurt else we'll just copy that pop that there and call that just player one okay so let's uh, let's run that and see what happens Yeah, so what you yeah, well set the wrong image. So you're probably screaming at me when I've done that, so it'd be this one here probably. And that should be one. So you're probably all screaming at me. There we go. And we'll try that again. Punch, punch, kick, kick, punch, punch, kick, kick. Okay, so one of the one of these health. Let's see what happens when this if this health gets below fifty. There we go. So it's updated that image to show that he's been hurt, and it should do the same for this one. There we go. So that's that. So that's updating those images based on the conditions that we set. Um. What we can do next in our next video is we can maybe have a reset button so it resets the stats or what we can then look at is saving saving our game uh, and loading a game or just or we could have a here settings save game load game or new game so that will re require using the shared preferences so in our next tutorial we're going to start looking at our shared preferences and uh, that could be uh, that's going to be good fun. So uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.